Hi guys, it's Millie. Welcome back to another video. Um, in this week's video, we are in Melbourne still. So last week we were at the Great Ocean Road. That was only a couple of days ago. So um, our next plan is to explore Phillip Island. We've got a, which is like, city of Melbourne is here. I'll put a little map in. And then Phillip Island is like, you have to go to sort of like around and then down. So it's not technically an island, but because it's connected to the mainland, but there is water like either side of it. But the reason that we want to explore here, apparently there's heaps to do there. We've never been um, on Phillip Island before. We've only ever been in like Melbourne city. Um, but there are little fairy penguins that come in um, on the beaches at night. It's where they live. They come in and they have, they have like their little homes there. So we've booked in on a little um, penguin tour where you can um, like sit in like a safe point so it doesn't like disturb them or anything and you can watch them all come in in the evening um, but yeah there's a bunch more things to do on Phillip Island so we're going to explore that today and I just thought it'd be fun to bring you guys with me so let's go so we've just arrived on the island we've pulled up our camps uh, pulled up to our campsite to get all the information and then we've just come to the first beach so we can just like walk for lunch and this it's very windy you can hear this is why CW seals so we're gonna go and check that out probably do a little walk and then obviously we've got the penguin thing this evening um we might be i think we'll probably explore some of it tomorrow so it's probably gonna be like a two-day vlog because it's quite it's not late but it's like 3 p.m so i feel like um there's gonna be a lot more stuff for us to see tomorrow as well but yeah we'll have a little walk first the sun's just come out a little bit decided to grace us with its presence Loads of surfers in Victoria is something that we've noticed, even in Melbourne as well. But the water is so much colder. We tried to go for a dip the other day and it was cold. So we're going to head back to the van. When I say head back, I mean we're just going to climb those stairs um, and make some food. Have a little chiller and then what's the next site? Bit of an unusual activity but they have a grand prix circuit here on phillip island and my boyfriend's really into the grand prix and all things fast cars and races so you can actually go and look um watch cars just like looping around the lap so we're gonna have a little look at this so this is like the circuit map which just explains a little bit all all about the course i was just saying sean this is very different <laughs> very different content for me I'll get back to my regular content afterwards when we go and see the seals and the penguins. But if anyone is interested, it's a Grand Prix, uh, Grand Prix track. And the view of the sea is very nice. Back to some normal content, guys. Just found a little kangaroo <laughs> sitting watching the golf course. Oh no. Hopping off into the distance. So we've just pulled up to like the very, very end of the island. It's called like, I want to say the Nobbies, but I really just don't think that sounds right. But it's N-O-B-B-I-E-S. I think it's called the Nobbies. The Newbies, who knows? Anyway, but this is where you can see the penguins in the evening. And there's also seals on an island close by, which you can see. I don't know if you can see the seals from where we're going to go, but we're going to be doing um, a little bit of a walk because the views are unreal, I will show you. Almost looks like Scotland, doesn't it? And then the visitor center is just over here so we're just going to see what we can see over there so they've also got where does it say yeah, they've got, got a blowhole as well and it's a little coastal walk so let's see oh look yeah it says the little penguins there so let's see what we can find it's very very windy apologies Paris is a great spot to, um, to see whales in the cooler months though, this, they're not migrating at the moment so we wouldn't see them. But it's so pretty, like you just walk along the boardwalk and have the little views. 
guys, I'm so excited. I've just seen my most favourite Australian animal. But they're like tiny looking, they're like tiny Australian hedgehogs with a really long snout. You can see it, he just waddles around and sticks his nose in the dirt. What a bit. One or the other. This is where the boardwalk takes you, this is the very end of it. So we've parked over here and this is where it takes you and I've said it a hundred times but it really does look like Scotland or Ireland because it's so green and you've got the cliffs and the blue water and I don't know if you can see but there's a couple of kangaroos over there let's see the iPhone 13 Pro can spot them with my finger there I just get so excited about Australian wildlife it's a little bit sad so it's about seven o'clock now. We just um, had pulled up um, a little bit away from where we were. Uh, I just made some dinner quickly because we're going to the penguin tour now. I am super excited for it, but I don't know how much footage I'm going to get because online it says you're not allowed to use flash, obviously, because it can hurt the penguin's eyes because they literally walk right by you. Um, and there's no photography allowed so i'll see if i can get like a little video at some point i obviously won't have the flash on so if it's dark i might it might not be great um but they say to head there like an hour and a half beforehand so you can because there's sometimes some of them are out in the daylight so we can see um if they are which would be good but yeah we're gonna head there now um, it's yeah, like I said, it's seven, and our like viewing is at eight forty-five because that's when the sun goes down, and that's when the penguins come home to go to bed, which is so cute. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed, I can get at least little bits to show you because um, I really would like to. Okay, so this is the lead up to the penguin place. Um, lots of people have got here early, so hopefully we get a good spot. We have paid for the penguin plus experience, so hopefully that puts us a bit closer than other people. But yeah, behind this building is the beach and the boardwalk and the little viewing platform, I think. <laughs> so they're expected at 9pm home from work tonight. Last night they got home at 10 past 9 from work. And we've got in and this is it. Pretty amazing building to be honest. And they're fully sold out already. Um, so yeah. I'm so excited! It's quite a big building. They've even got a little cafe where you can get some food and drinks if you want. They've got like um, loads of little like almost like museum-y bits about the actual penguins. What is this over here? Oh, like a submersive experience. Oh, that like teaches you all about the penguins. And then shop and this is the boardwalk so we're gonna just have a little quick walk out in the daytime and see what we can see before it gets dark cool. another little kangaroo oh, look. Oh, down there oh yeah all wallabies not sure oh my god there's a bunch of them there's one over there as well so this is it i think the penguin plus is the slightly better view Oh my gosh, what's that noise? On, Don't, I'm getting so excited already for it. Can you walk, walk all the way down to the beach? And we're literally going to be sat there for like an hour and a half early because we want the best spot. But it's really cute because look, there's another little kangaroo. A submersive in the wildlife. <laughs> So we're just going to the view in a bit now, but just to show you their homes in the ground, you can obviously see like all of the little holes. Um, they're all like hidden. Oh my gosh, what was that? Did you guys hear that? They're all hidden away quite well. Like there's one under there. So yeah. So this is the viewing platform. Um, and then it's like three tiered and then down there is the um, underground experience so this is the penguin plus experience and we are right on the edge and the penguins will be coming over here they'll be coming over the rocks and then um like walking all the way up there and then she the lady said some of them go up the hill as well like as you can see their little 
homes. So I think I'll be able to get a sneaky video. I definitely think I will. Hi guys, so just following on from the last clip that you saw because I think I ended it quite abruptly. Um, the penguin showing went on for about an hour and a half um, if you are curious because I knew that when I went I was like I don't actually know how long this is going to last for. Um, but it was the cutest experience of my life. I kid you not, it was absolutely adorable. They came up in like groups of like, um, like they all came in from the sea, but they came in in like batches of like maybe like 30 to 40 at a time. So it was amazing. Like it wasn't over in a split second. Like they, they all came in like gradually. Um, and then they like worked, walked their way up like underneath the boardwalk and like next to the boardwalk. So it was really nice because you could spend like we spent like 45 minutes in our seats like watching them all come in and then um for the next like 45 minutes we walked up through the boardwalk and had them like walking next to us and like each trying to find like their little homes and then like interacting with their chicks when they got home it was honestly just the cutest thing ever um so yeah that one finished at about half 10 and then the next day we left phillip island so we actually did end up doing I think pretty much everything to do everything there is to do on the island within the day obviously I said at the beginning of the vlog you could probably do it in two days but because we didn't get that great weather we would just manage to like smash it all out in one day but if you have nice weather obviously you could spend some more time on the beaches do some like do some more of the coastal walks and just spend a bit more time relaxing there uh, but yeah because the weather wasn't great we were like look, we may as well just get it all done today um, and it was still really really amazing so so thank you very much for watching this video I hope this clip isn't too loud but I'm absolutely boiling in the car right now and we've got the aircon on and I need it um, but yeah I hope you've enjoyed a little sneak peek next week's video is going to be a little vlog of the sapphire coast of New South Wales so that was a very exciting film and um, but yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next week bye